we are given the value of tan of theta as 3 over 7, and using that, we need to find the value of tan of 2 times theta. Now normally you will say, we can just use the standard trigonometric formula for tan A plus B, which is this, and substitute both A and B as theta to get tan of 2 theta as this, which turns out to be equal to 21 over 20, and we are done. But here's the catch. We cannot use the standard trigonometric formula because, let's be honest, these formulas are hard to remember. And even if they're not difficult to memorize, it's always good to know different approaches that build our real understanding. That's why I've got two unique methods to find the same value without using the formula at all. First is the complex number method. Suppose we have a complex number of the form z equals x plus i y. In polar form, we know that we can represent this complex number using its magnitude and angle. The angle that this complex number makes with the positive real axis is called the argument of z, and it is basically the angle theta, which is found using the relation tan of theta equals y by x, and the magnitude of z, which we represent using r, is given as the square root of x square plus y square. This makes the same z as r times e raised to i times theta. So if we are told that tan of theta is 3 by 7, we can take that as our y over x, meaning y is 3 and x is 7. Thus we take z as 7 plus 3i. Now here comes the trick. When we square this complex number, the angle gets doubled. This is because z square equals x plus iy whole square, and we can also write it as r times e raised to i theta whole square, or r square times e raised to i theta square. So z square equals r square times e raised to 2 times i theta. Suppose t equals a plus i times b is some other complex number such that t equals z square. So t will also be equal to this, which means the magnitude of t is r square, and its argument is equal to 2 times theta. So, tan of 2 theta equals b over a. Let us now square z. z square equals 7 plus i3 whole square. z square equals 7 square plus 3 times i square plus 2 times 7 times 3i. This is 49, then this is 9i square, or 9 times minus 1 or minus 9, and this will be 42i. So z square equals 40 plus 42i. This means t equals z square equals 40 plus 42i, or b equals 42, and a equals 40. Thus, tan of 2 theta equals 42 over 40, or 21 over 20, which exactly matches with the value we found using the standard formula. This was simply out of this world. Now let me know in the comments what will be the value of tan of 3 theta for the same value of tan theta. What will you do in order to find tan of 3 theta? Okay, great. Now let us look at the second method, which is the geometric approach. Tan theta is 3 over 7. So make a right triangle like this, such that this angle is theta. Tan theta is opposite over adjacent, and thus keep this opposite side as 3 and adjacent side as 7. Now draw this line like this, such that this angle is also equal to theta. So what will be the value of this angle? Yes, right. Using exterior angle theorem, this angle will be equal to 2 times theta. Now, here comes the real magic. If both these angles are equal to theta, then what can we say about this triangle? Oh yeah, it will be an isosceles triangle. So if we label this side length as x, then this side will also be equal to x. Also, if this is 7 and this is x, so this piece will be equal to 7 minus x. Now consider this small right triangle. We have sides as 3 and 7 minus x, and hypotenuse as x. Use Pythagoras' theorem to get this. Expand this to get this. Oh, look! x square gets cancelled out, and we are left with this, 
which gives us 14x equals 58, or x equals 58 over 14, which is 29 over 7. So, 7 minus x equals 7 minus 29 over 7, or 20 over 7. So, tan of 2 theta equals opposite over adjacent, or 3 over 20 by 7, which is equal to 3 times 7, or 21 over 20. We again got the same result. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good!